Hey, welcome back to another Team Axel Stand video. Um, in today's one, I'm just going to chuck in a new fuel pump. Um, as part of the budget build, uh, we were running the stock EK Civic fuel pump. Um, looking at the logs, I can see injector duty cycles up near 90%. So, not sure if it's a fuel pump or not, but they're cheap enough to throw one in. Um, as part of the budget, I wanted to stick uh, to try and make it as cheap as possible and you can run K-series on a stock fuel pump, I've proved that um, but just to be sure I'm putting in a Walbro uh, 255 so we'll we'll go back to underneath the back seat um, I still haven't bolted it back in luckily uh, undo the cover again remove the fuel lines um, and start getting into taking out the pump So I'm just undoing this plate, four screws. Like that. Uh, plug. So the fuel pump and the sender unit are plugged in here. So I'll just unplug those. And then we have our two fuel lines, our feed and return, or, uh, no sorry, feed is over here and return. Uh, I'll just get those two off um, and then it's just a matter of undoing these bolts around here. So just, I've got normal EFI style hose clamps on here, I'll just take those off. And then, ooh, it's a bit of fuel will come out. to remove those and now we just have these uh, six I think they're 10 mil bolts so we'll, I'll get something and remove those so I've got the fuel pump out now um, just looking at how this I think this there's a little clip that comes out like that little plastic clip um, and then you should be able to just press this and pull this out. Yep, like that. Hopefully that plugs the same as the new one, I'm not sure. Um, then the only other thing is have to undo these hose clamps there. So I've just removed that one. Um, and then I think you try So that's the fuel pump out and then there's a little I don't know if you can see that there's a little clip there that needs to be taken off to get the filter off so I just used a little chisel um, and that bit's come off now so we should be able to yeah so now the bags off so we just need to take that off because we need this rubber bit that was on the end so we'll get the new pump and have a look So there's the old one and there's the new one, um, that's kind of the comparison, so you can see it's a little bit bigger, um, so I think we have to trim down the hose a little bit, just check the plug whether it's going to work or not, and the plug will work, so that's awesome. So. So 255 really is a plug and play, um, pretty close. Uh, what I'll do, just removing the cap off the, that comes with it, put this rubber rubber grommet back on. And we'll slide that back in. Um, I might take the piece out of this hose first. Take the hose off. I'm just taking that P 
piece of hose off. Oh, it's tight. Like that. Um, now I'm not sure if I need to cut that, cut that back a bit or not. No, nah, I think it should be okay. Be a short bit of hose, but I think it'll be okay. So what I've done is I've cut that nice and short, um, and we'll slide that back on to here. The so I'm just going to leave that like like that. Um, I'll take off this protective bit. Uh, we need that. Uh, I might push that onto the put that up there. So we've got both clips on there. Yeah. Uh, we need this on. We can pull that back out a bit now. Like that. I might try and get this down as far as I can down onto the pump. I think that should be alright. Be back again. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the old uh, strainer back on. It is slightly different to the new one, so we'll put that back on like that. Uh, and that is basically it. It's ready to go back in. I'll just put that little clip back on the strainer and then we should be good. So I've put the little clip back on in there. Um, it's pretty tight, it's not going to come out. Clipped it back in and we'll put it back in. So putting it back in is the reverse of taking it out. Um, you can see the swirl pot in there. Um, so we'll just slide this back in. Make sure it's reasonably clean. Return. Return goes on this one. Feed goes on this one. In this fuel pump. All right, then we just plug the two clips back in. All right, so now we've got that bit plugged in. I'm just going to give it a quick test. <laughs> Sounds like it's working. pressure
Yeah, and you can see it's got pressure. And it's holding pressure. It's up to 50 when it's pumping. So I think we should be good to give it a start. We might crank it over and see what happens. Bingo! That's a very easy fuel pump. Swap over. Thank you.